Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Information Briefcase. Today we're going to learn about Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD. Now, let's begin. ADHD is a problem which causes continuous distraction. The person becomes hyperactivity that meddles with their daily life and work. It can make focusing in doing their work and routine very hard. ADHD doesn't imply that you can't focus, but makes it hard for the person. Sometimes, it implies that you focus strongly doing something that may be an unwanted thing. Certain individuals describe this feeling as a sensation of being nervous or fear. For a really long time, individuals with ADHD were described as lethargic latecomer cracked or reckless. These descriptions just produce shame and keep those with ADHD from looking for help. But recall that these remarks don't address who you are really. Before we begin, remember that this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional advice diagnosis or treatment. Number 1. Childhood Issue. It's normal for individuals determined to have ADHD as grown-ups to have shown side effects during youth, regardless of whether they were not officially analyzed. Your ADHD might not have been found in young age because ADHD can be easily mistaken as depression, mood swings, neglect, or inability to focus. Number 2. Unorganized. The last time you thought you may have ADHD is because you are unorganized. Deadlines creep up out of nowhere and your needs have vanished for good. However, don't worry there is still hope. While schedule, organizers and diaries may work for a few, they may not work for your situation. Set alarms it may, alerts you and help you. Allow yourself 30 minutes to 60 minutes to finish something from your daily do list. After the alarm goes off continue to the next work, whether or not you completed your previous work. That way you don't get stuck always working on a single work. Number 3. Controlling yourselves. Another sign that you may have ADHD is lack of controlling yourself. Presently this wouldn't be spending money freely on cloths. This is more similar to doing something you know you should not be doing, like running a red light, or then again maximizing your credit card, on something you know you don't need to buy. You may not know why you do these type of things, but you simply do them. These things explains inability of controlling yourselves is. It's acting with practically no thinking. However, controlling yourselves doesn't always turn out big issue. Now and then it very well may be pretty much as interruptions. Interfering with discussions, participating in dangerous practices. Or spending a lot of cash till your bank balance is low. Number 4. Unfinished work. Because of a less capacity to focus, you may be inclined to leaving things scattered. Projects, housework, schoolwork may be put off for one more day. Or avoided to the sidelines, despite the fact that you are so excited to do them. Although it's confusing and challenging, there are treatments that can help. Specialists ordinarily endorse drug as a type of treatment. According to your ADHD, they might endorse stimulants or non-stimulants to help you keep your focus. There is likewise the choice of psychotherapy, where an advisor may participate in behavioral therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy. Number 5. Less ability to focus. Discussing similarities among ADHD and depression, the most widely known similarity is less ability to focus. In any case, the difference between them is motivation. Somebody with ADHD has a less capacity to focus because of the condition. There is no correct explanation to clarify why less ability to focus is one of the symptoms. But specialists accept that distinctions in cerebrum construction may be the explanation. It isn't that you're unequipped to be engaged, but something different is grabbing your cerebrum's attention. ADHD can likewise make you more deeply focused in on something. It sounds confusing, however, this also is viewed as having a less ability to focus. Or on the other hand you have ability to focus deeply on particular thing. So did you identify with any of these signs? We trust you've learned regarding a portion of the various indications of ADHD. Consult a physiatrist if you or your friends can relate to these signs. They can direct you through types of treatment that can be significantly help you. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe like share and comment below. Please press the bell button to get notification.